Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing? How are we, how are we? This lovely and bright Friday morning. Welcome to those of you who are on Instagram. Welcome to those of you who are on Facebook. For those of you who are on the replay, do remember to put hashtag replay and put your comments in the comment thread. Now, I do want you to know that I do have clothes on, right? <laughs> just in case you're getting worried. But it's a lovely day and it's a day to just top up on the vitamin D. Um, and so I'm making the most of it. So good morning, guys. I hope that you will. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Good morning. There we go. I'm just welcoming those who are on Insta because it's a new a new thing for me. Started this week, this Monday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. This is Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday, guys. Freedom Friday. Freedom Friday. Touch your neighbor, or maybe not, because we're not touching people anymore, are we? <laughs> and say, so touch your neighbor and say, freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom Friday, guys. Right, so I'm going to just jump right into it. So I was thinking about what makes us free? What is it? What what do we have to do? How do we have to think? How do we have to live? What is, what is, um, the what is it? What does it take to really be free? What does it really, really take to be free? Now, you know, I can't touch on freedom without touching on a little thing that's going on in our world right? We know what's going on in our world. We know that a man was killed blatantly in front of us um, by a police officer, not in the UK, but in the United States. But we know that this happens here, right? So it, it made me think about freedom. It made me think about freedom in a, in a diff completely different way. Um, and so I thought, you know, because we've been talking about um we have been doing the affirmation this week that I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think according to the power that works in me, right? That's what the affirmation was. There was a caveat to it. And we looked at the power. What is the power? And then we, I was asking, what is your superpower? What is the power? What do you say about yourself? What do you believe about yourself? Who is in you? Who is actually in you? Are you just you? Or is there a greater being, a greater source? in you, right? And so it just made me start to think about freedom, because I today is Freedom Friday, and I love, this is my favourite day of the week, Freedom Friday, because there's no holes, holes bought, bought, barred, no holes barred, I can't say it properly, and then it's, it's just who we are, it's just about who we are, and it's about us gravitating and pulling that thing in, and it's about our state of mind. So I started to look up what freedom actually means in the dictionary what does it actually mean to be free what does i want to ask you what does it mean to you to be free what does it mean to you to be free put your put your messages on the, the comment thread let me see what you're saying what does it mean to you to be free what does it mean to you for you to exercise and live in your freedom right? What does it mean to you? Let me just have a look. Ah, oh, we've got some great stuff here. Right, so you're saying, I believe, I can see it's a mental thing. Fear, hate, love, compassion, all lay from ideology, which touches the heart. That's from Amina. Good morning, Amina. That is such a powerful statement. Good morning to everybody that's joined in this morning. So what is freedom to you? What is freedom to you? What is freedom to you? Hear what it is. Freedom is the power or the right to act, speak, do as one wants, right? It is the power or the right. Look at the words I'm using, the power, the power. Because remember, we talk about power this week and I was telling you how you are power full. So you're full of power, right? So freedom is the power or the right to act, speak or do as you want. 
our glory. Right, so Nelson says, freedom is the ability to be, do and have all that I desire. It's the ability to breathe, love, live, laugh. Freedom to be unapologetically you. Boom, there we go. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Listen, it's a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved here. Let me say that again. It is the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved in your mind. Right? That's what freedom is. Freedom is a state of mind first. Guys, are you listening? Freedom is a state of mind. So this is Freedom Friday and we are free here. We are free to think. We are free to do. We are free to have. We are free to be. But it's up to us according to the power that works in you. That's the caveat of our, of our affirmation of this week. According to the power that works in you you. So the state of freedom is the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved here. And it is according to that power that works in you, because we already know freedom is the power or the right to act, to speak or to be as one wants. Right? Do we get this? Are we getting this? Are we getting this, guys? Are we getting this? Because we're on a journey. We're on a journey, right? We are on a great journey of life. This is probably one of the most challenging times that we are ever going to see in our lifetime as a collective of people. We all have challenges and we all go through things. But as a collective, as people, we are all feeling something now we are all going through this pandemic right we are all going through this pandemic at the same time and as i keep saying we are in the same storm but we are in completely different boats completely different boats how we see things and how others see things is completely different. So what I'm going to say here, I just need to put, put something in as it's in my mind and I'm going to speak it because it came to me. It's got nothing to do with this. But hear what? I'm just going to say people, Caucasian people, people, my friends, my friends who are white, Caucasian, pink in colour, that are not black, that are not ethnic at all, people who are white, my friends, I'm going to ask you to speak out. I'm asking you to speak out. It's time for you to speak out on this thing that we see going on in the world, this race thing, this hate thing against black people. We now need to see white people rise up. Those who are for us, be for us. Those who are against us, let us see. Let us see who you are. Come on. I'm just keeping it real. Sorry. I just, I digress, but it came in my spirit. So I have to be true to me. You may not like it. I don't care. I have to be true to me. And my truth is I, I know a lot of people. I've got a lot of people on my Facebook. I've got a few people on my Instagram and they are mixed with all different ethnicities. Our culture, our culture, our people, our community is under attack. OK, and has been under attack from the foundation, from from I came into this world. That's all I knew. And I and, and, and now 50 years on, it's still the same. So let me just say that in order for change, things to change, we have to change. Let me go off or go back to what I was talking about. Freedom, because actually there's a freedom there. Freedom of speech, freedom to say what the hell I want to say right now about my people. Hello. Right. OK. And that's out of a place of love, by the way. I'm just very passionate. Okay, free your mind and the rest will follow. Free your mind. I better not sing, it's too early in the morning. And the rest will follow. Be colorblind. Don't be so shallow. Anyway, we're talking about freedom this morning. Freedom is the power or the right to act, speak, do as one wants. 
It is a state of not being imprisoned or enslaved in our minds. So this is Freedom Friday. What are you going to do? How are you going to activate your freedom, guys? We have Freedom Friday every Friday, and it's a reason why it's in it. How are you going to show your freedom, your level of freedom? What are you going to do for you today? What is it? Right? Free to embrace and be you. Absolutely. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Boom. Absolutely. Dr. Wayne Dyer. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Now, so thank you for that. That is a great, great saying, a great thing to walk away from. When you, when the what the change, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. That's powerful, powerful. So this morning, Freedom Friday, we're talking about freedom. What does it actually mean to be free? And freedom starts in the mind. It doesn't start in your environment. It actually starts in your mind. And then from your mind, you create the environment that you want. The power of freedom is the power. Let me tell you this, and this is what I'm gonna leave you with, right? Freedom is the power of self-determination. Did you hear what I said? Power, it, freedom is the power of self-determination, which is attributed to your will. That's attributed to your will. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Freedom is the power of self-determination, which is attributed to your will, to your will the power that works in you. So we come full circle. I, come on with me, say it with me, write it on the feed. I can do exceedingly abundantly above all I could ask or think according to the power that works in me. And we know that freedom is the power or the right to act, speak, do as you want, as you will. Yeah. We also know that it is a state of being of not being imprisoned or enslaved in your mind. And we also know that freedom is the power of self-determination. What are you determined to do today, guys? What is your determination? Tell me this. Um, Nelson says, I realize 4.5 years of severely Oh, so severe anxiety and depression, and in just 21 days of claiming my freedom in my mind. Boom! Right? It means that you can change any situation. It's how you think about it. So, guys, my people, your people, our people, start to think about how you think about things and take a different perspective. And when you do a different perspective, when you look at things from a different perspective, a different angle, you will see that situation differently. OK, you will see your situation differently. Let me just give you one more thing. Let me just give one more thing, one more thing, because I'm nearly out of time. OK, so here is I want you to visualize this. Those of you who live locally, I want you to visualize those of you who live all over the world. I want you to visualize. Think about the tallest building that you can go to the, the roof of. Right. Think about the tallest building that you can you can visit, that you can get to the top of whatever it is. It could be the Empire State Building. It could be the Shard. It could be whatever building. Right. Now. Right. So imagine you looking out above. You're looking out above at that building. Take yourself up all those. The Eiffel Tower, wherever it is that you are. Leading, leading Tower of Pisa. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. There is a building. You go up there. Right. So right before you even go up there, let me not. Let, let me not take you too far. Before you go out there, you're on the ground. You see what's around you. You see your environment. You see it. You feel it. You notice it, right? You feel everything. You hear what's going on. You see what's going on. You can feel the energy around you. Right. Now I want you to take yourself up onto that high building. Go right to the top. Go way, way, way to the top of the building, right to the top. Now look out at the same place that you were standing before. When you go and look at that top of the building, you're going to have a completely different experience, a completely different feeling, a completely different view of the same place that you were in just before. So I say this to say this. Yeah, I say all of that to say this. Your perspective will change when you change.
When you move from, and it's like you're in the same place, but you're just taking another viewpoint of it. You look at that situation completely different. And I want you to look at your life like that. So you're in your life. You're in it. You can start, you can only see yourself. You're looking in the mirror. But what I want you to do now is take another perspective. Take another perspective. Go higher. Go higher and see yourself. See yourself from a higher perspective and see what you're doing. And then when you do that, do you know what will happen? You will begin to rise. You will begin to rise. You will begin to rise. Facebook's going crazy. Instagram, I can see people clapping. I love that. Listen, Deborah Chow to say, I am proud to say that I have always looked at others for who they are and have never thought consciously of the color of their skin. All colors are beautiful. All power to you, fabulous. Yvonne. Absolutely. I love you lots, my darling. Curly McLeod says, so how should we view the killing of black people all over the world other, via other races? I'm not quite sure what you mean. So how should we view is that view the killings of black people all over the world via other races. Listen to me, I'm not saying that we're not to see it as, as it is. That is not what I'm saying. It is what it is. We view it as it is because we see it, we feel it, we know it. It's happening, it's happening around us, not just in the America, it happens in the UK. Just a few years ago, one, one young man was killed, um, Leon Briggs actually was killed in police custody. We know this is happening everywhere in the world, we know this. My thing is, it's not about us seeing it to other people uh, or other races, that's not what I'm saying. It's about other races now standing up and saying, do you know what, we have to do better. It's actually because you know what? It, we're going to go around in a vicious circle. Nothing has changed, has it? Everything that we've done every March, every this, every that, nothing has changed. People are still dying. Hello. So, do you know what? If we keep doing the same thing, we will get the same result. So, we have to do something different. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. We have to do something different, guys. We're talking about freedom this morning. I've gone over time. We're talking about freedom this morning. Freedom is a state of mind. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Um, JJ Jake says true freedom is a choice. It's here. It starts here. It starts here. Freedom is here, it's in your mind. The battlefield, actually every battle that we go through starts in the mind. The mind is the battlefield. And that's why we have so much mental health now. That's why, because people don't have the capacity to deal with things anymore. It's become too much and we're not speaking, we're hiding things, we're wearing a mask. And the time has come for us to remove them off. If we want to be free, we've got to be free indeed. That means in everything that we do, we've got to be free in it. We can't be free. A piece of us is free here. A piece of us is free there. No, we are free. Indeed, we are it free in everything that we do. Right, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got listen you guys are just going crazy on the feed you're going crazy going crazy going crazy um sheena's saying free your mind and the rest will follow yes absolutely amina's saying when uh when muslims are killed the true muslims came out saying nothing in my name i don't understand when so-called muslims killed the true muslims came out saying nothing in my name i don't quite oh so what yvonne is saying is that Pete, please Right, I'm going to let you guys say what you're saying on the feed. I'm not going to get caught up in that. Ugh. Right, guys, share this each morning with at least one person. Right, so on, on Instagram, thank you so much. I believe that's Lolly Lorraine, I think. Um, she says, guys, share this each morning with at least one person. So those of you on Facebook, please follow suit. Thank you so much. For, before I go, to say this, to say this, 
please share. I love the likes. It's really lovely. Thank you so much for liking. But we as a people need to start sharing. We need to share, share, share and encourage each other. Right? Share, share and encourage each other. Right. Okay. Right. So we've got Michael Reed on. Look, this. Okay. 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 Listen, this is, I'm only here for, I'm only here for 10 to 15 minutes. We're on 20 minutes, but I can see that this is something, even though I'm talking about freedom, I didn't really want to get into the politicalness of it. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come off. <laughs> I'm going to come off and come back on because this is about, this is about morning inspiration. Hang on. Michael Reed is saying, and I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm pushed here. Michael Reed is saying, I hear you, but what would you do if a family member had a police knee in the back of the neck until she is dead? I understand about meditation, vibration, perception, mindfulness. My humble opinion, there is also a warrior aspect, the force of good. Right. Okay, so this is this is it. Let me just address you, Michael, and thank you for your comment and thank you for being here. And it, uh, my, the inspiration and, and all the vibration doesn't take it away from anything. It doesn't take away from what's happened at all. That's not what this morning's about. These mornings happen every morning. It happened before the incident and it's happening after the incident. So this has got actually nothing to do with what's happening. This is about us inspiring and moving on as people. But to to, to go back to what you were saying, um, what would I do? I don't know what I would do. And that's the honesty, because I'm not in that situation. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is this, is that we have to do things differently. We've, we've done, this happened. This is not the first time Look at Eric Gardner. This is not the first time it's happened. But what have we learned from when he passed to now? What has happened from when he passed to now? Not a lot, if we're honest. So we cannot do the same thing that we did then, now. That's insanity. What I'm saying is we've got to do something different. And it may just be a two millimetre change, but we have to do something different because this does need to stop. Yes, it does. Categorically, it needs to stop. But in order for it to stop, it's not just going to take black people. It's going to take all people to make this stop. Do you understand? It's going to take all people to make this stop. Okay. All right. So that's my 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 message. And I, I just really want to reach out to Michael Reed and thank you for being here. Um, you're new. I've, I, I've never come across you before. Obviously, you're on my Facebook page, but I want to thank you for stopping by. You are welcome here. You are welcome. And yes, we got to do what we got to do. All right. We've got to do what we've got to do. But we've also got to work together and we've got to love each other. We've got to encourage each other right? That's what we got to do. So I hope that this has helped you this morning. And you know what? What I'd like you to do, guys, if you could tell me if these morning inspirations are helping you in your life, are they helping you? Right? Let me know if they're helping you. And let me know if there is a subject matter that you want me to cover on a morning inspiration. And I will do that for you. I know that this is a little bit of a different one, but actually we must have the freedom to be flexible, right? So this is Freedom Flexible Friday, <laughs> to talk from the heart. And I did bring it up. So I do have to take responsibility for that. And, and um, again, I do thank you all for your messages. It has helped. It helps me. And, um, you know, what I want us to remember is, is that, let us feel what we feel. It's important. Let us feel what we feel. And so when we are talking about, and, and we have to be really careful because words are powerful. You've heard me say death and life is in the power of the tongue. And, and on a serious note, 
in in this situation and how people are feeling and how tempers are frayed and how people are frustrated, they're angry. I want you to really think about how you speak and what you say. So, you know, I am feeling angry rather than I am angry because anger begets an emotion which begets an action, right? We don't want people to get into action where they end up not being here either. So I want you to, to think about what you say and how you say it. I feel angry rather than I am angry. I feel frustrated rather than I am frustrated because when you declare that, your action will be that. That's what your action will be. So I want us to be very, very mindful this morning as we are in our freedom and that we are free to do because we are free to do, but we are free here to do the right thing and to do it in the right way. We are not going to react to what is going on, but we are going to respond in such a way that it has clarity, it has clout and it brings about change. That's what we're going to do. Right. I am feeling because let's acknowledge how we are feeling this morning. And it's OK to feel it is OK. And it's right to feel it's right to feel angry. It's right to feel disappointed. It's right to feel frustrated. You are right to feel, feel it. But careful with the I am's. Make your I am's the power that you have. I am blah, blah. I am. I am a queen. I am a king. And I will deal with this as a king would deal with it. I am a queen. I'm going to deal with this how a queen would deal with this regally and looking at it from a perspective, a different perspective to get a different result. Because at the end of the day, what we are looking for is the, a good result. It's all about the result. What happened the other day to George was not a good result. It was not a good result. But what results we want to bring from that is a better result that will, will amplify the value of his life. Because his life is and was valuable. This is your girl Yvonne Michelle. And this is Morning Inspiration. Do join me every weekday morning at 9 a.m. for your super boost of inspiration. Also, do remember on Monday, uh, Conversations with Yvonne Michelle will be with the legendary Mr. Freddie McGregor, the godfather of reggae. That's who I'll be interviewing on Monday. That will be done on YouTube. And guys, I'm going to start to move this over to YouTube. Um, as of next week, everything is going to start to move over to YouTube as well. OK, so and, and you can get all of these episodes on YouTube. So for now, be blessed. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine wherever you are. I'm sending you enough love. Thank you to those who are new to this and uh, come on. Do join every every weekday morning at 9 a.m. where we will conversate and talk about morning inspiration. I am a queen. I am a queen. I am a queen. Guys, I want you to say I am a king. I am a king. I am a king. There is power in three. I am a queen. I am a queen. I am a queen. And remember, guys, you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or think. I'm out. Ciao. Have a great day.